It's time for the first regular season matchup of the WBL. Kicking things off with Ingo, the Battle Subway boss, representing the Unova team versus Gym Leader Volkner of Sunny Shore City in the Sinnoh region. Both very powerful trainers, but let's find out how their best teams stack up against each other. Ingo is going to kick off the battle with his Probo Pass as a lead, an interesting lead for sure, whereas Gym Leader Volkner is going to go in with his Pelipper. Now with Pelipper, we do often see the Drizzle to actually start the rain, and it is going to kick it off right off the bat, which is quite a problem for Ingo, given that he does have a Rock type on the field. So we will see how he wants to handle that. He is going to switch right off the bat, but into what is the question? Oh, in comes the Tangrowth. Now, Tangrowth is quite a good counter here against Pelipper, at least being able to resist the water moves, although its special bulk is not too great, and it is, of course, powered up by the rain, the Pelipper, that is. So the Skull doing about a quarter and not getting the burn. I'm sure Ingo is breathing a sigh of relief right there as Volkner switches into the Galvantula. Now, Galvantula is a big threat for Tangrowth, but Tangrowth actually going for the knockoff, so Ingo predicting a switch of some kind and getting rid of Galvantula's item. Now, Ingo's gonna switch out from the Tangrowth, does not want to take a bug buzz from a Galvantula, that is for certain, and Probo Pass coming back out. Now, Volkner going for the Sticky Web. Oh, that is a huge play, a hazard play, and that's going to slow down any of Ingo's Pokemon that he actually sent in as now whoa Volkner going for the Vol switch now so he's getting some damage off while being able to pivot into something else that can deal with Probo Pass better and it's looking like it's gonna be the Electivire. Electivire now on the field an offensive monster but Ingo going for the Stealth Rock here getting some hazards up of his own very valuable to kick this battle off as Probo Pass getting some leftovers recovery almost back at full health we will see what Volkner has here on the Electivire as Ingo's gonna switch does not want to risk like a fighting move of some sort, four times super effective on Probo Pass, and going in with the Machamp, who of course is going to get caught in the sticky web, and Electivire, oh, going for the cross chop, that is a massive power move, oh, almost doing half on the Machamp, it does seem to have the flame orb, so this is likely a guts set on the Machamp, but Electivire now going for the wild charge as well, oh, that does enough to take the Machamp down, are you kidding me? Okay, Ingo apparently not ready for the sheer power that this Electivire has. Maybe he's thinking something like Brick Break and Thunder Punch, which likely wouldn't have done enough. But wow, Volkner has an absolute powerhouse set on this Electivire. Oh, even Ice Punch too on the Tangrowth. Tangrowth does tank that reasonably well and does have the Rocky Helmet. So Electivire getting some recoil from that and whoa, Tangrowth has the Earthquake too. Oh, that's super effective on Electivire, taking it down immediately. I don't know if perhaps Volkner did not see that coming, or maybe didn't want to switch into the Pelipper in case this thing started setting up with Leech Seed, or maybe even has Ancient Power. I guess you never really know what to expect from a Tangrowth, but Galvantula taking a massive amount of damage from that Stealth Rock upon entry. And Ingo, I think, correctly assessing the threat from that Galvantula with Bug Buzz and going into Probo Pass, an all-around great counter here for Galvantula. The speed drop is not going to matter much and here comes the bug buzz yes that will be resisted hugely by probo pass hardly does anything in fact and the rain is going to go down so volkner no longer has the 100 accuracy thunder to work with and probo pass almost recovering everything that bug buzz did to it and volkner deciding to actually manually switch out from galvantula oh you know what it might be that is actually a smart play because if ingo decided to switch in gliscor then that would cancel out and keep galvantula effectively trapped on the field against a Pokemon it can do nothing against, and actually Ingo going for the Toxic here, predicting the switch. He could have easily KO'd Galvantula with a Power Gem, but knowing that, you know, Volkner would not want that to happen, going for the Toxic and landing it on a Pokemon that is just stellar to land Toxic on, Rotom, because it can be quite a bulky and powerful threat, but Probo Pass stuck against a water type like that. Not going to want to stay in. And in comes the Tangrowth. A great counter here. We'll see what Volkner decided to go here, go for here. I mean, the Tangrowth isn't going to be affected by Sticky Web very much. As the... Oh! The Will-O-Wisp! Oh, Volkner returning the favor with a status move of his own. A great prediction here. Now, Tangrowth's attack is going to be quite crippled. As Rotom tried to recover some health. But that is not going to help very much as time wears on. As the Toxic will do more and more damage incrementally, whereas Tangrowth just has some damage from the burn, but his attack is of course lowered, so that is the key factor there. As Volkner goes back into Pelipper, 
perhaps trying to reset the rain here, but those rocks are doing some big damage. And we'll see what uh, Volkner wants to do with the Pelipper back on the field against Tangrowth. Again, he does have to be careful, although we... Oh, there's the Leech Seed! Yes, the Leech Seed against the Pelipper is a great play. Being able to steadily wear that thing down and get some recovery when it's needed most when he has that burn, after all. So now Tangrowth recovering to full health, but the burn will, of course, do some damage here. Now, Tangrowth is quite hurt in terms of offensive potential here, as... Whoa! Volkner going for the Defog! That is an interesting play that's going to get rid of the Stealth Rocks on his side of the field. But don't forget that Defog actually gets rid of Hazards on both sides. So the Sticky Web is going to be gone. And whoa, Tangrowth having Giga Drain of all things. So it turns out it's not a strict physical attacker. It does have some specially offensive potential too. Volkner perhaps very surprised by that because the burn isn't going to be as detrimental as one might have thought. As now the Pelipper, yes, getting out of there with the U-turn. It is super effective, but again, Tank Growth is just a physically defensive monster as Pelipper barely survives on just a sliver after the Rocky Helmet damage. And now Volkner going into Galvantula. Of course, the perfect counter here for Tangrowth, as Tangrowth did just go for another Giga Drain, trying to take down that Pelipper, but no, it's not going to be able to take down the Galvantula. Galvantula surviving on just a sliver here, as this Tangrowth is causing serious, serious problems here for Volkner. I am still curious about that Defog play. We'll see what happens as time goes on. Perhaps, you know, Volkner just decided that the Stealth Rocks were not worth having the Sticky Webs up. It was better to just clear the field. And oh, wow! Did you see that? Volkner predicting the switch there and getting the Sticky Web up again. Did he have this planned out turns ahead? That was nuts. That was absolutely crazy. Ingo, of course, has to switch out, thinking that the Stab Super Effective Bug Buzz was going to come in and annihilate Tangrowth. But no, he stayed in with the Sticky Web. Wow, a dangerous play, but it didn't pay off. As now, Probopass, oh, being pivoted into by Rotom. Probopass did go for the Power Gem, though. That should do a fair amount of damage on Rotom. Yes, not quite to half. With, of course, the Leftovers bringing it up, but the Toxic is going to bring it back down. And now both players having some recovery on the field, but it all depends how things turn out in the next couple of turns because Rotom is of course under the rain. So now something like a Hydro Pump is going to do some big damage on everything except perhaps, yes, the Tangrowth, the answer to everything it seems. Tangrowth coming back on the field, getting caught in the Sticky Web. Now what's interesting here is that Ingo hasn't really sent out very many fast Pokemon. He does have some on his roster. But uh, none of them have been really affected by the Sticky Web. It seems like he's very much sticking to slower Pokemon to begin with. Maybe he can try to find a way to get rid of that Sticky Web, or he's just trying to wear Volkner down in the meantime, as the Hydro Pump didn't do too much on Tangrowth. I mean, under the rain, it's almost bringing it to half with the help of the burn. So that is significant, as Volt Switch now on the Tangrowth, bringing it below half for sure. There's the guarantee, as Rotom switching out into what is the question. Oh, Jolteon! Jolteon entering the battle for the first time. Now, we have to see how much Giga Drain does here on Jolteon. It looks to do about a third or so, as Tangrowth getting some recovery from that as well. But now, it depends what Jolteon's coverage is like. This is dangerous for Ingo, because what do you switch into? You don't know what this Jolteon has, it does have the hidden power, presumably super effective, and yes, it will take the Tangrowth down, super effective damage, but we don't know for sure what type it is. So Ingo still has to be a bit careful here, as Jolteon turns out to have the Life Orb, giving it extra power at the cost of 10% of its health every time it attacks, and Probopass, again, another slow Pokemon, but very bulky, surprisingly bulky. Not many people tend to know just what Probopass is capable of, but now the Volt Switch coming in, so Volkner just pivoting all over the place, getting some good damage off on the Probopass, and sending in the Pelipper again, a big threat. It can reset the rain, and now with Stealth Rock off the field, it's safe to come in here, actually. Now, we have to see what Ingo wants to do with regard to... The oh! Okay! He's going for the Stealth Rock prediction there. Oh man, that is a big play now. Okay, but what does Volkner do here? That's the question. Does he go for the Defog, or does he try to take down the Probopass? Probopass switching out. It is in the rain. Oh, this is going to be very interesting to see what exactly Volkner has planned as Magnezone comes out on the field. And yes, Volkner realizing the best option is to just attack and get some big damage off in the rain. And it does burn the Magnezone as well and pops its air balloon. That could be quite crucial as the battle goes on. Magnezone below half health already. And now Volkner is going to withdraw the Pelipper with the Stealth Rock on the field. 
Now that is an interesting, interesting play, perhaps thinking he could use the rain reset up later on in the match, and sending in Jolteon, oh, maybe he was hoping for the Volt of Zora, but no, oh, Jolteon surviving on what must be 1 HP against the Magnazone, oh my word. By all accounts, you'd think that was a smart play because you don't want to set up the Volt Absorb on the Jolteon after all, but Flash Cannon is resisted, whoa, Magnazone now surviving on 4 HP, and Jolteon going down to its own life orb damage. Oh man, Magnazone now attacking and oh, the burn! Oh my word! There goes Magnazone as well! All right, we are now on a cleared out field as Volkner coming in with the Rotom now. A good choice. It kind of does counter a lot of things that Ingo does have left on his team, including the Alakazam. Now here is where those sticky webs will start to factor in as Alakazam, normally a very speedy Pokemon, and it is still going to outspeed the Rotom despite the sticky web going for Psychic, and that is the end of the Rotom. Ooh, one of the defensive cores here of Volkner's team going down as in comes Luxray, and this is exactly where the sticky webs come into play because Luxray is undoubtedly going to outspeed Alakazam now, which is incredibly dangerous for Ingo. Yes, especially with Crunch. Oh, the super effective Crunch. Absolutely. Oh, the Focus Sash. The Focus Sash on the Alakazam is going to allow it to survive and land a Psychic. We'll have to see how much of this does. I can't see. Yeah, no, that is not going to take down the Luxray. So Luxray getting a second shot at this, taking Alakazam down with the Crunch with the help of Sticky Web. That is why these hazards are so, so pivotal in these battles as in comes Probopass yet again. Now I can see why Ingo didn't want to try and save the Alakazam. If this thing has something like Superpower, which Luxray often carries, that is going to be four times super effective against Probopass, but no, it looks to not have it. Going with the Wild Charge, that's not going to be enough. And Luxray getting some recoil damage, undoubtedly putting it in range of the Power Gem now. So Ingo taking down the Luxray, a big threat against his team as the rain is going to stop. And now Volkner has two Pokemon remaining. It's got to be the Pel- hold on. It's got to be the Pelipper and the Galvantula. They're both at low health. Don't forget the Stealth Rock is still on the field. That's the end of the Pelipper right upon switch in. And now Galvantula is also low health. That's, that's the battle. That's it. Galvantula going down to the Stealth Rock. Oh my word. Ingo's master plan coming into effect at the end. Only now at the end do we understand all what's going on. Pivoting around Volkner like an absolute madman and ensuring that he couldn't do anything about the Stealth Rocks. Wow, Ingo coming through with a win for the Unova region in the first match of the season.